Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. Right now the world is set out of order and the word of God is going to put it back into order and it's simple and plain. Let me show you something. If you choose a man to rule you or a husband, you know why you choose a man or why you choose a husband? If you choose a husband to rule over you, what are some qualities you're supposed to choose this? Come, come closer. I want to talk. What are some qualities you're supposed to look? So you are a man to rule, right? What, what, what? You don't want a man? Well, that is you have a problem with God? You have a big problem with God, sir? You, any more sir, rule in here? Then a man rule in here already. So submit now and let him rule. Let a man rule. But it's... So, let me ask you a question. So, what? Oh, I understand your dilemma. Now, let me, let me explain to you this. When it's a rule, sis, it don't mean like, eh, hey, go and do that for me. No, no, no. Let me show you. Let, no, no, I know. I might talk aggressive, but I know what the scripture means. For example, when it's a rule, it just simply means to set you order in order. Meaning what? So, let me say, let me say, you have a man, right? He going and rule you according to what? His own thoughts? Which part, how are we supposed to rule? For example, right, so if, I tell you, you're going to choose a husband to rule over you according to the laws. So the first law is supposed to choose a man that will tell you what? Put on some dresses. Right. Well, guess what? You need to get one because guess what? You need to be ruled according to the law. And I, you laugh, but that's serious. It's serious like that. You want to get the kingdom of heaven, Carla? How are you going to get the kingdom of heaven? According to the law. So, today is the Lord's Sabbath. You keep the Sabbath the holy day. Don't let, don't, don't, don't let him distract you. You keep the Sabbath the holy today, sir? Why? You know how to keep the Sabbath the holy? How do you keep the Sabbath the holy? No work. That's the only thing. Read your Bible. What about Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31? Let me go Nehemiah 10 and verse 31. Let me show you how to keep the um, Sabbath holy. Okay, okay. 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 Let me show you. Let me show you how to keep the Sabbath holy. There is something that people don't, don't know. Okay, guess what? You see these people here? That Christian church? They don't teach Christianity, Pentecostal, seven day disadvantage, whatever the, the case might be. They don't teach the laws. Read. The book of. Nehemiah chapter 10 of verse 31 and if the people of the land bring bread or any victual so you know you're an Israelite Nehemiah was an Israelite you know what he's telling them if the people of the land which is the East Indians the Chinese because right now they is called China tongue right that's she child she formerly known as child she China tongue we are the Caucasians which is churches which is KFC and so forth right read on the Sabbath day to sell bring stuff on the Lord Sabbath day to sell here yeah, obvious do that we would not buy it of them. We would not what? That we would not buy it of them. So Zakala, you know right now you're learning how to love God. That's right. First, um, John chapter 14, verse 15. Let me show you how to love God. You love God, right? You see you love God, right? Let me find out how to love God. And then you examine yourself and find out. Read. The book of St. John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, you love God, right? Keep my commandments. Let's simply keep your commandments. So simple it is. 
Se saca la güey, la gente run. Been done yet. Yeah, no, you're at home. But how you want? I run. I applaud you for that. We done. If you love me, keep my commandment. You hear that? If. Meaning what? It's a possibility you might not love God. People out there might, they might say they love God. I love God. I love God. My heart clean. They're lying to themselves. Because the Bible says they have their teeth. And I'll prove that here. Okay, give me this. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. I will therefore that the younger woman marry. That the what? That the younger woman marry. Says, that is a law. So how? So he's not a young lady. He's not a child of God. So what? what? Says, so, so you decide you don't want nobody to rule. Alright, if that's the case, no problem. But guess what? You still have to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right, that's right. Read it. I will therefore that the younger woman married, their children guide the house. Guide the what? Guide the house. So guess what? You need to get yourself in order to guess what? Guide the young children in the righteous way according to the law. That's right. what you need to do. If you don't want a lot, fine. If you don't know husband, fine. Get yourself in order. Is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse um, 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Get yourself in order. Guess what? And when you get yourself in order, dress modestly. Start to keep the law. Guess what? The law infringes as well. We will get that. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let me, everybody has long talk. For God already will hear we talk. But let me hear the conclusion of everything. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. What's one of the what's two of the commandments that we dial into this is Carla? What is two commandments? Give me two specific commandments. Two commandments that you must keep. Trade just now. Alright, let me refresh your memory. The first one is what? What? Exactly, that is one of the commandments. Don't forget it. I don't want to forget it. Can you see how long it takes to get it? Eh? Read. And keep the Sabbath. That is two commandments. Well, that is a command, but you don't want to do that. So, yeah, if you don't want to do that. Give me number 15 and 38. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let me get this one then. Let me get this one then. So we will go with this one there to read. Book of Numbers chapter 50 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders. You know his eyes are like today as well. But listen. Make them fringes in the borders of the garment. They make them up? Fringes in the borders of the garment. So if you watch out all the men out here and all the wives and things that we have back in the school. They have what? We wear, wear what? This. This is called a fringe. Fringe simply means just decorative border. The same thing as hang on the curtains. That is what it just means. That is the art design and style. That is the, that is the most I'm giving. The most I give or the Christ giving us what? Our sense of style or fashion. Read. Throughout your generation. Oh no? Throughout your generation. How long is throughout your generation, sis? As soon as you keep making children and children, right? Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So that guess what, Scala? You are trying it? Then they commanded to keep this law. We done. And it shall be unto you. Guess how? You're supposed to power what? A ribbon of blue. On your fringe. It could be any color and blue. Right? But it has to be a ribbon of blue on your fringe. We done. And it shall be unto you for your fringe. That for your fringe. The reason, let me find what's the reason the Mosai gave us this as well. We, that he may look upon it. So we will look upon it. And remember all the commandments of God. And remember what? And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So we're supposed to remember all the commandments of God. Let me get, let me, let me get, let me get a simple. Read. And do them. And what? And do them. Here yeah, we conclude then. But let me conclude with this because guess what? You know what it is? What, what, what carnival? What, what season we in? I say it. We in the carnival season. So let me get something. Yeah, concluding. Because you know what I, I know what I want, what you to do? Stop. Because guess what? You being, you dressing like this is encouraging the society or encouraging the system. When you repent, 
by keeping God's laws, you stop. And you, you know what you're doing? You're becoming a teacher to the young sisters, to the young men, or the daughters of Israel. Now, get my arm, second mark to be chapter 6 and verse 6. Let me find out where this whole carnival thing come out from. And yeah, history. You're learning your history here today, sis. We concluded on this because this is what we're going through here right now. Is it not a carnival season? Right, but guess what? You have to be edified. You have to be edified about it. Do you have your daughter? Do you have a son or a daughter? Right. So let me conclude with that. Read. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. We are now all ego says, read. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself to be for a Jew. Before, in time past, we never used to be keeping what? We, we were, they pass a law so that we wouldn't keep. Today we willingly, we willingly break the Lord's Sabbath or even the Lord's feast day. Read on. Verse 7, and in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the feast of, what? The feast of Bacchus was another word that Deshel has used. She's the queen hour. You see? You see the same spirit just recurred. This is our history here in, in Maccabees. Queen of Bacchanal. What we just call this, this um this 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 carnival time. The apocrypha was taken out of the Bible. King James Version 1611. When you go and Google it, you'll find these books missing. Yeah, I know you will do it. 1611. You have the flyer too. You can call and join the WhatsApp as well. We employ you to do it and ask questions. But what is here? The Queen of Bacchus, the Feast of Bacchus, come from what? Where, when you Google Feast of Bacchus, it has orgies and where it has sex. This is what the origin of it used to come, origin of it stem from. But you know what today? Today we will at least jump up and pay thousands of dollars just to be a part of that whore or whoredom. You understand? Huh? You keep this cannibal or not. When the child get big, what they gonna do now? The same thing, but you know what they ain't got? They go jump up in kiddies. They are grown person. Do you know where they will go? And jump up in Carnival Monday and Carnival Tuesday. And be hypocrites. And say, hey, in the name of God, and put a cross on their head with ash. That's right. You see the hypocrisy? They met Tobit chapter 4 and verse 13. Watch this now. And this is the last thing I wait here. Because watch this. You see, Carnival is, is what they call nudity. Another word for nudity is lewdness. Watch it in the scriptures here. Watch out the no. most high prophesied destruction for here. Read. The book of Tobit chapter 4 and verse 13. Now therefore, my son, love thy virgin and despise not also your, also your daughters to read. And despise not in thy heart thy virgin. Go here, your virgin, to not tell to, or your sister, not to tell them the truth or tell them the laws. Read on. The sons and daughters of, of thy people. The sons and daughters meaning what? The children and all are walking on the road. We're not supposed to tell them tell, not, not tell them about the laws. Today is the Sabbath and they're breaking it. Read on. In not taking a wife of them. For in pride is destruction. In what? For in pride is destruction. Pride being pride haughty popped up in your mind. Being a A. Hey, I could do as I feel. I don't have to listen to them laws. You see that young man who said talking to me on the sheet? I listen to him, yeah. But me ain't gonna do nothing when he say because he know what he's talking about. We don't. And must trouble. <laughs> and must trouble. And in lewdness is decay. And what? And in lewdness. And in nakedness is decay. And is what? Is decay. We die in. We destroy. Because guess what? No right thinking person will walk out the house half naked and parade the streets. That's right. We don't. And great ones. And what? Great ones. What is the great ones we go and want just now? Because guess what? The most I prophesying something against Shane that read. For lewdness is the mother of famine. Because guess what says? The most I going and bring a famine to Trinidad and Tobago because of this nakedness. And guess what? We don't just be naked on a carnival Monday. Or a carnival Tuesday. You know we just go? We just go to the beach. We naked. We just walk, we just see sisters out here, walking Sabbath after Sabbath. And guess what? They're naked. Guess what? Guess what happening, sis? The most I go and bring a famine. And it's coming. And guess what? We people just sit idly by and just, no. God is our? A trini. He know. But yeah, what you prophesy here? Yeah? Famine coming. And with that, sister Carla, we let you go.
But be sure to call in a money flyer. You understand? Stand for righteousness. Psalm 94 and verse 16. Before she, she goes, Psalm 94 and verse 16. Listen to the most. I have a question for you, sis, too. What the question of the most I have for you? Psalm 94 and verse 16. The book of Psalm, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me? What asking your question, sister Carla? Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? The evil doers is we people because guess what? We encourage in the system. The evil doers is also all the enemies. The other enemies, which is these other nations, the East Indians, the Chinese. Yes, we don't. Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Are you willing to stand for righteousness, sis? Are you going to adhere to the call for righteousness? Because guess what? We out there just preaching what? The truth. We preaching righteousness. We standing for what? The most high right now. Who actually could say they're standing? The Christian church? Because this Catholic religion have a whole lineage, a whole history of touching boys. The nuns have a whole lineage, a history of being lesbians. The Seventh-day Adventist church was founded by who? LNG White, a woman. God say a man supposed to rule. Why am I listening to this woman? She prophesied she gave her. She, I think she write a book where she was saying she was blind and she was writing a book. What blind person writing which book? And then she get back to sight. You understand the foolishness? You understand the craziness? So sis, the most we could do is empower you and provoke you to righteousness. Provoke you back to your heritage. Provoke you back to the most high God. You understand this, Akala? If you have any questions, you can contact me on the money flyer. Right? Yes, it's. Virgin, come in front now, Father. Come and give me a learning. We have any questions? You know we're teaching, Father? You know it's a nationality? You know how to get to the kingdom? Read. Yeah, what was this? Yeah. Shalom, shalom. Most sign Christ bless. Come on. Leviticus 19 and verse 29. Because today, today, with today which you're calling Carnival Saturday is of the devil. Carnival is of the devil, thus said the Lord. Now we have our children dressing immodest. We have our children dressing like hoes and prostitutes on the Lord's Sabbath day and Carnival day too. Nowhere in the Bible says to celebrate carnival. Carnival is idolatry, that said the Lord. And if anybody have a problem with that, bring your proof and come and see. You understand? Yeah, to so all the big mouth men that sit and buy, if you have a problem about carnival is of the devil, bring forth your strong reason. Let me hear what the Bible say about let me hear what the Bible say about little girls. Dressing like prostitutes. Right. The book of Levi the curse, chapter 19 and verse 29. My little sister, hear the scripture. One scripture and you can leave. One little scripture. Mom, mom, mom. One little one scripture. Come, sister. Come. Read my sister. Watch this. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Come. Hear this. Hear what God saying, right? God saying this in the Bible. Read. The book of Levi the curse, chapter 19 and verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. God saying that. Do not have your daughters dressing like hoes. The most I go out saying that, sister, my sister over there, if you see a policeman, how you will identify him? Brother, brother, watch, brother, watch. If you see a policeman, how would you identify he's a policeman? By his what? By his what? By, ah, come, 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 say that, say that on the mic now, come, 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 by, by his clothing, and sister, wait, 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 so if you see a policeman, you will identify him by his clothing, if you see a hoe, you're going to identify a hoe by a clothing, you understand, this is what God says, do not prostitute thy daughter or your children to be a hoe, now, kiddies carnival, we have a lot of our little children dressing like hoes. And God said, do not prostitute thy daughters to be a home. You understand this is out of the Bible. Don't get vexed with me. I'm just the messenger. Virgin, Virgin, come a little closer. We're talking about carnival here. Come, come. I know you're on the beat. I know you're on the pong. I know you're on the pong. Listen to this. Right? 
It is all it is what? All praises. All, all praises. I'll reach here. Shalom. All praises, Virgin. Well, always remember the little mercy that you have. Make his. Get that scripture for me. Because my brother John said he just followed. He knows he's an Israelite. All praises for that. This, this is our brother. My name is Azariah, brethren. Nice to meet you. Kevin, nice to meet you, brethren. The brethren say he just follow, And he knows he's an Israelite according to the Bible. And he just follow our bishop, Bishop Nathaniel. He's a great man according to God's laws. He's a righteous man teaching God's laws. So, give me arm that. Give me that answer of five. Give me that answer of um, seven five and, and seven. Five and verse seven, right? Make haste, brethren. Because watch. Nobody don't know what time or hour God come in. God can come today. God can come today, brethren.